Hi. Okay. So my Ursula is all of the tentacles are now glued together with how I showed you before in the last video with that method. And it is now time for me to cover the whole thing in fabric before I can glue all of the different like center front and like side back and side back pieces together. So well, right now what I'm doing is covering each of the three sections in the black fabric and then I'll go on and do the purple on the bottom. Um, I've pre-cut it into a large piece for the front because that's all together and then two smaller pieces for the back, though they're still like twice as long as I am tall. So they can be draped along the entire tentacle continuously. Um, so I've started spray adhering it to test to make sure that it works before I made the video. Normally I would like to have a section of it done and be able to show you that and then show you the method, but unfortunately I think most of the time I'm going to be working on this, there are going to be other people here, and I don't want to like inconvenience them with video making. Um, if a friend coming over tonight and then tomorrow someone else is coming over to like take pictures. Anyways, um, so what I'm doing is basically I'm doing it a little bit at a time. I started at the widest part of the stomach, and then I went up, and now I'm going to be going down into the tentacle. So what I'm doing is I'm spraying this fun adhesive that I got. I can't really tell you, like, a reputable place to buy it and, like, give a review on it because this is my first time using it, and I got it when I ordered my phone from the website that I bought my phone at because they said it would work on their phone and I believed them and I didn't want to like test a bunch of different glues and I needed to meet a dollar amount with my order to get free shipping anyways otherwise it would have been a fortune because um like eight, eight sheets of foam is not cheap to ship so yeah so it's Claire Mist Adhesive, and so far it seems to be working pretty well. It has different directions for temporary and permanent hold. I'm using somewhere in the middle of those directions because I don't believe in following directions, and I want to be able to adjust it as I go along, but I still want a really solid hold on it. So I'm sort of fudging it as I go, like I do with everything. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, essentially what I'm doing is I've actually turned this so you can, like, see it with the camera sitting. Look how prepared I am now. I'm getting better at this. Um, so what I've done, you can see it stuck smoothly on here. And the reason I chose spandex is so that I can just like spray adhesive on it and then just fucking stretch the spandex out however I want and it'll go on and it'll stay and there won't be all the wrinkles and the weave of the fabric to worry about. Um, it's a four-way stretch spandex from Spandex World, which I highly recommend. I love that website, like, more than life itself. It's where I got my Jessica Rabbit fabric. They have beautiful things, tacky things, plain spandex. It's great for superhero outfits. It's pricey, but their quality is amazing, and they send out samples and everything. Anyways, tiny Spandex World commercial. Um, so what I'm doing is can see how it's got all of that it branches out into the tentacles below that. So what I'm doing is I'm spraying like a small section of the adhesive and this stuff is nowhere like nearly as toxic as the barge. So I'm getting a good coating of it. So I'm not using any like safety equipment or anything but I do still have like my window open and my fan going which you can probably hear in the background just to take whatever fumes there are out of the room. Don't do this in an enclosed area without any ventilation. That's stupid. Don't be stupid. So I spray that bit. And then the directions say to wait for it to tack, so it's similar to the bard, except this takes most good glues will need some tacking time um, just to like activate them. So leave it sit for a little bit. Once it feels nice and sticky, which it does now, I go in and I just kind of like sculpturally stretch it and I try to work from the center out so that I don't end up pulling my fabric too much off grain because while it is a spandex, I would like to have it be relatively on grain. And I smooth all the wrinkles out as I go along. I don't know if you can actually see what I'm doing here. 
see it smooth wrinkles out. They go down and out. Using the stretch of the fabric to my advantage to pull on any wrinkles that form and get rid of them and make sure all my edges are nice and smooth because that's going to be glued to another edge of foam. When this is done, and so the point of this is then like once I've gotten all of this glued down to where the tentacle split, then I cut up the middle of this piece of fabric because it's got two tentacles coming from this section of the body. And then I take each of those and I glue that to the top part of the tentacle, and then I glue the purple, and then I'll detail the edges either with, to make them look nice, either with hand stitching or with glue. I haven't quite decided yet. I think I'm going to do some tests in the back of the costume and see how that works out. But yeah. So... Just smoothing along. Make it look nice. And if I have to, like, lift up a part and re-glue it, like, it looks like there's too much fabric here, so I might have to adjust some stretch. That's fine. I'm not really worried about it. Like I said, I'm doing a sort of temporary fix. And then the tension, once it's all, all the pieces are glued together, should help hold it in place, even if, like, this gray adhesive doesn't last for forever, which it won't, because I'm using a more temporary hold. See? nice and smooth. And I'm just not afraid to like pull it in different directions to smooth it out. So see, that area is not glued down. That part doesn't have any glue on it yet, which is why it's all wrinkly. So yeah, that's the way I'm going about covering it with fabric. Um, I'll be doing that for the entire body and going down into the tentacles, and then doing the tentacles themselves in a similar fashion from the base to the tip, continuing off of that fabric. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. That's basically how I'm doing it. And then I've left excess fabric up at the top. It connects. The foam connects by Velcro here. And then I'm just bringing the fabric up over that. I haven't glued it quite to the top of the foam so it smooths over nicely. And then it'll go over the top of the bodice and snap onto the inside. It's the same technique I used with my Jessica Rabbit dress to get a really like clean cartoonish finish at the, finish at the top with no stitching. And that way I can unsnap that and all of this fabric will go away with the foam and then the bodice is a separate piece so it's not really unwieldy and like there's not a bodice actually attached to it so that will get really complicated for storage um yeah I think that's it on covering the foam with the fabric um if you have any questions feel free to ask me if this is on YouTube there's a comment section if this is on Tumblr reply send me an ask whatever um yeah, thanks for watching. I'm sorry I ramble so much.